Hello YouTube, this is the Booty Warrior, and welcome back to StarCraft 2. It's been a while since we've been here, I know. But I've been mating Terran, ever since I got back into it, about a month ago. It's the one race I've never really played too much of, so I'm like, you know what? Let's try to take it seriously. Actually try to get good at Terran. I've been watching a lot of Winter StarCraft 2, so... That helps encourage me to strive to get better. He's a great streamer, by the way, that you should all check out. Yeah, this is a weird update that Blizzard added. I'm not really a big fan of it, I don't see the point, but... It is what it is. You just kind of throw up your tempo when you just want to stay on games. Because when you get it done, it's like, ooh, I want to do this now, and it's like, no. Nope. Gotta wait a few more seconds, it throws me off. It's rather unfortunate. And hopefully the audio balance will be good. I'm pretty sure it will be. Well, this song is pretty loud on my end. And yeah, I've been watching a lot of Urusai at Surga lately. So I got some of that music going off in the background. Alright, let's see if I can not fuck up my... Rex this time. Awesome, I didn't. And we're gonna be doing a Reaper Expand. Well, actually, hmm. Do I want a Reaper Expand? Nah. Well... Yeah, fuck it. We'll do a Reaper Expand. I'm not really the biggest fan of Reaper Expands, though. To be honest. Oh yes, I can already visualize what's going on in the episode that the song is most associated with. Actually, you're not supposed to build a depot that early, huh? You're supposed to, like, spend that on a Rax. We first get that, and then I can, like... Yeah, you know what? Uh, shit. Yeah, I'll build it right here on the low ground. Although he is gonna go for quick speed by the looks of it. Let's get that hotkey set up. And usually what you should try to do here is like, um... Okay, he's gonna do that cuck shit, huh? And I fucked up the hotkey. I can at least try to watch one of these places. And what I should try to do here is... Well, for one, building my second depot would be kind of smart. I'd say that's the first step in getting good at this game, wouldn't you? And with the Reaper, it's more about slowing down the third than it is about dealing economic damage. It's nice if you can do it, but... Do not rely on it, because good Zerg players are not going to lose anything to the Reaper. At least not any drones. And I think I'm going to be getting some... Yeah, let's get some siege tanks behind this. Just in case he feels like, uh... Doing that shit. <laughs> Okay, random all in. And man, that rat is actually fucking up my game plan real bad. That's usually more or less where you want to put your shit right there. Alright, let's try to turn that into a uh, planetary as soon as we can. We're not a planetary, excuse me, that's... that's dumb, I derped out. Okay, so we delayed the base, so at the very least we want to figure out whether or not you're gonna be doing some cheeky rope shit. Will I be able to see... no. Well, unfortunately for him, I don't actually plan on doing anything. 
in terms of a drop or any harass, really. So I don't really care. Okay, now let's get plus one and stim while we can. He's probably not going to be doing anything aggressive anytime soon, but you can never be too safe, right? Alright, so at the very least, if he does get in, there's not going to be as much surface area for him to work off of. I don't really have a lot of marines, but I might as well at least try to get some medevacs. And just in case he tries to do something weird with banelangs or mutas, he's probably not going to since he didn't rush it, but... Fuck it, man, I have it now. I might as well. I only have a lot of minerals coming in not a great start to the game, but I have the potential to get off some kind of pressure. Talkie that. And as soon as I can, I'm actually going to try to build the command center. Oh, I should build it here, actually. Wait, what the fuck? Can I really not build it anywhere? That's fucking... Bullshit, man. See if I can at least get the roach one. a really good pick for me. And I'm satisfied there. Throw them off a little bit. Actually, let's try to pick off just one. Alright. Worth it. Okay, where's his upgrades looking? Not too good. And to be honest, like, I kind of want to try to kill him right now. Because I feel like I have an opportunity. I hope I don't fuck up my hotkeys or anything stupid. Let's see if we can't try to go for the killing blow here. Oh, 
Well, you got all my tanks, but he's not going to be able to reinforce quickly with roaches as much as he would want to. So maybe I can actually kill him here. Especially if I can stop him from actually getting in some banelings. Run! Alright, retreat. Retreat. That's a trade. That's a trade. And I just need to get way more... Missile turrets ready. Trying to build off a wall. It does have plus one, which is not great for me. Try to block this motherfucker off. Looks like I might actually win this. Awesome. Ah, oh, shit. Well, okay, you didn't have enough. Awesome. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I guess I win now. Let's try to pre split. Alright, rage quit. <laughs> Feels good, man. Man, my macro was fucking sloppy as shit that game. But, I actually beat a Zerg in a macro game, so that's awesome. What I unlock. Donuts and pancakes. Mmm, yummy. But no coffee? It's not great. See, what I really want are these. I want these free... Uh, you get free skins, Tyrador skins, and the Tyrador skins on Terran look amazing, I must say. Alright, let us continue our epic ladder misadventures. 10.46pm, it's like a day later after the last match. TVP? Ooh, it's a platinum player. And going by the bluish hue, it looks like he's probably not too far off from promotion. This will be interesting. <coughs> Pillar of Go Pillars of Gold LE. Honestly, I don't have too strong an opinion on any of the maps. I don't really give a fuck. Okay, random paper just fell in front of me. I don't know what the fuck that's about. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, let's set up our hotkeys while we can. Eh, yeah, this is probably a decent place to set up a hotkey for my third base. 
It's very tempting to take this base, but... Meh. Get the papers out of the way. I guess I did adjust the paper earlier. It was like on the edge of my desk. But yeah, so I don't have too much of a build order going to really any of my games in general, which... Yeah, I'm sure eventually that'll really start to bite me in the ass, but... For the time being, I'm just kind of winging my gameplay. You know, just testing to see what works. Again, I have a very macro-oriented style. I don't really like doing all-ins... ...in general. And... Wait. Okay, yeah, that should be where the Protoss base is. Yes. Alright, and we're gonna stop building SCVs at 19 supply. And this time we're gonna try to not fucking forget our orbital. That should be the first and foremost thing that we work on, actually. As soon as that's done, build an orbital. And... Actually... You know what? Let's build... A reactor. That way I can get some marines out nice and fast. Okay, it's gonna be a quick expand build. Interesting. Don't really like going Reaper, as I've stated before. It's just not- what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, that's like- Did we run into another player that did that? Or maybe I'm thinking of a, a game from the other day ago. Yeah. The other day, I ran into a Protoss player that did something just like that. It was fucking... Dumb. I don't know why people do that. That guy's like platinum. This is not the level where you should be doing that in all honesty. It's very inefficient. I know that kind of goes without saying, but... Still. Ah, shit. I actually fucked this up. I probably got that gas geyser way too fast. Yeah, I got that way too fast. Got- Cause I delayed my second gas a little bit too much the other game, I think. So I tried to overcompensate, pretty much. So I'm gonna take just one out of gas, probably both, actually. Then I can get another Rax. Get a couple Marines queued up. Build my second orbital as soon as I can. And you know what? I think this is a decent time to get my next gas guys are actually up and running now. And you know what? Yeah, let's get my starport ready. My plan is to get stem as soon as I can, along with siege tanks. But my main goal here is, of course, building up marines as much as I can. Get my starport tech ready. Let's make sure he's not trying to take a sneaky base or anything. Uh, let's see, how much longer until this is ready? It's gonna be a couple more minutes, it looks like. Let's suicide up there, see what he's got. Oh, okay. Well, I got a supply block, a delicious supply block incoming. Although, honestly, that could actually be pretty bad for me. Because that could be indicative of... an all-in. Some kind of blink timing. Maybe I should get another bunker just in case. It would be pretty embarrassing if I just casually died to that shit. Yeah, I can build up some marines here, keep some stuff here. That way I can at least see a few units coming in. Next 
units ready. Let's get that. Okay. Now, what do I want to do from here? Because I think I'm building up enough units that I'm probably not going to die to a random all-in. But, at the same time... Yep, here comes the fucking... Transports. Hmm. Actually, let's get... Yeah, I think since he's so heavy on stalkers, I might as well... Get this stuff ready. These concussive shells. Alright, and that is a dead ass fucking war prison. So he probably just loses off of that, if I had to guess. But just in case, let's try to poke around. That's just in case he tries to do any fancy blink shit into me. Okay, so he is expecting it. Oh, he's expecting the fuck out of it. That's a robo vein. So, I'm actually gonna drop here. Alright, so at this point I should be getting a few Vikings as soon as I can. And actually, somewhere... I'm pretty slow on this shit today. Uh, gotta get my supply depot up, because I really need to add more barracks. Get my combat shields ready. Oh, and I just noticed he hasn't actually taken anything yet. See, like, he hasn't gotten an upgrade, I mean. Did I get my armory started? Yes, I did. Maybe this is overkill, but at this stage, it's more important to overkill. Alright, so what upgrades are we looking at? Pretty low on the upgrade counts. Actually, I should add another factory just in case. Maybe I can try to push him. Why not? What the fuck? How did I do that? Salvage these. Oh no, don't you dare lag. Oh, that was a dumb blink, my boy. That was a very, very dumb blink. And actually, I'm just gonna back off off of that. Move everything over here.
Alright, now where's my Vikings? I really wish the Vikings would show up like on the first row. I can build up my next base. Okay, and seven is my control group. That. Alright, where's the army? He still doesn't have any upgrades. And the important thing is to not get overly distracted with the combat, because we still need to make sure our infrastructure is nice and healthy. See if I can't snipe a couple of these motherfuckers. I think I can just kill him here. Yeah, it's just overwhelming numbers pretty much. And that's a pretty easy example of how to do a macro when it's Terran. Like, we didn't- we actually didn't do any harass other than like, I guess snipe the third. Well, that's not really harass, it's just a normal attack. But... It showcases, first of all, how good siege tanks are. I remember when siege tanks were universally considered to be garbage. Um, I don't know how often they get used in pro play nowadays though. Let's do another game. Cause why not? But um... Yeah, cause I'm so used to seeing like a bio mine against Protoss. Like in Heart of the Swarm days. Or just pure marine medevac. Instead of like adding any real factory units at all. I'm sure it's a good combo, and you could probably get away with just doing that at this MMR, but... I just think it's more consistent to get that splash damage, you know? And yeah, for those who don't know, Colossi got nerfed a long fucking time ago. That was like the first thing Blizzard nerfed in the game's time when Legacy of the Void came out. So they're not as effective as they used to be, but... They can still stack up a lot of damage over time. And honestly, like, I think it's more of a meta thing to go, like, Zealot Archon, isn't it? Like, I don't- I don't think going Mass Stalker is the play anymore. Yeah, I can at least get a couple of hotkeys ready. And I always try to build my barracks here, regardless of the matchup. Let's see, while that's busy, make sure that's ready, that's ready. Good luck, have fun, bruh. <sighs> and yeah, I just, especially in TBT, it seems like just going for mass siege tank marine is the play as well. Send out an SCV to double check, make sure he's not going to do anything cheeky. And apparently, what you can do is you can send the scouting SCV along with your Reaper when it goes out. You pretty much have to go Reaper in this matchup, I feel. Because I feel like if you don't go Reaper, like you just kind of get killed if, if the other guy does. Uh, 
Oh, that's a fucking weird ass build. So what next? I guess I'll get a reactor next. As soon as I can. I'm kind of nervous that my SCB gets caught here. Oh, okay, you went marine. Okay, that's actually really good for me. I can get that. And now I can set up my... Factory soon. My second racks. Or my second gas, rather. Alright, let's go ahead and go, bruh. And the idea is you use the SCV as just a meat shield. Well, if you're not fucking dumb like me, you use it as a meat shield. But unfortunately, I am a dumb man. I cannot help it. It's in my blood, what can I say? Hopefully I don't immediately die as a result of that fucking shitty play. I might. I'm actually really nervous now. That'd be an embarrassing stupid loss, wouldn't it? But alright, I gotta get my second orbital soon. Okay. And that... Okay, thank god he didn't actually push me for that. I gotta keep an eye on this side. I don't actually have confirmation that he's scouting. He could be using it to, uh... Okay. He is going... Oh. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait. That's the wrong hotkey. I think that'll be good positioning. see. So next up, what I'm gonna need is a star port. Because he's undeniably gonna be doing that as well. I can send out some marines, make sure he's not taking any of these base- oh wait, what? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that's about, but that's a thing. Okay, someone really doesn't want me to fucking scout. I'm noticing that. Anyway. Move this SUV back here. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple of these ready. Get my engineering bay. Okay. So double pumping siege things. It looks like he's going hard, Mac. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll go for. Huh? What do I want to do here? If he's going mass siege tank, then I could probably get away with just. Yeah, I'll send a couple marines over here just to scout. Wait, is he actually pushing me right now? Ah, oh, shit, he actually is. Okay, he's doing that shit, huh? I guess I'll double pump out some, uh... Damn it. Okay, 
Let me see if I can scout this at least. Or excuse me, uh, defend these. It's a weird game, actually. Oh. He's actually not doing shit. Okay. So I can get some more of these out. But now I need to make sure he's not gonna, like, try to push me or something over on this side. Because he hasn't actually done anything yet. And since he has a lot of those, I might as well get another tech lab. So like, what is this guy doing? He's doing a mass marine transition. Interesting. Yeah, shit. I really hate when people push me with siege tanks. It's very awkward. Cause it's like, oh, what do I do now? more of these bad boys ready. And I can put... What is it? This right here. And you know what? I never actually go for, uh, star forts. Like the battle cruiser transition, ever. This is very weird, because he hasn't actually done anything at all. I can go for this base. <clears throat> Alright, drop a couple of these. Okay, now, what upgrade do I need? I need that. That's the big meme that I need. And B for Battle Cruiser, okay. Now, am I good on workers? That is the question. Yeah, he is going for, like, some weird... Mass expand strat. Let's get one of these ready. So this could be risky since I don't actually have, uh, anything ready. But, at the same time, if he's not ready for me to take that, then I could probably get away with it. Alright, 
I've taken what I need to. I just need to build up more army. Now, okay. I need ship weapons. See, do I have enough gas? Okay. Now I should. He actually has way too many... Too much shit. Ah, oh, shit. This is actually the first time I've gotten Battle Cruiser in this entire matchup. Okay, don't get too distracted, Booty, as tempting as it is. I think that. Yeah, it looks like he's just gonna try to just kinda suicide into me now. It's kinda derpy. Well, I mean, I can just kill you, pretty much. really surprised he hasn't left yet. Especially after that. Maybe he's just taking it in. He's taking in the loss mentally. That doesn't matter. Because I went mass battle cruiser biatch. And if you don't have enough Vikings, it's just kind of over. That's the way this matchup goes. Oh wow, the first GG. That was fun. I'm very passive on his end after his initial push failed. And that's usually how this matchup goes at this level. Is like either people try to rush for third bases or they try to do this weird gimmicky fucking timing attack if we look at the graph I'm curious how the yeah I was beating him up pretty hard on army value I'm kinda curious exactly how many workers I made that game so like upgrade spending yeah I didn't even like upgrade that well in that game so how many workers? 84? Oh. So technically, you're supposed to only make like 80-ish SCVs, I believe. Like 80 at max. And because of mules, you could probably make an argument that 75 or 70-ish is decent. I don't know. Let's see what I unlocked. Ooh. You know, I'm not really playing Protoss, so it's not exactly appropriate, but... Oh, oh, I never actually saw that portrait. But yeah, let's grab this one, because it's badass. I love classic Alderis. I wish they had the StarCraft 1 portraits, though. I mean, the, the anniversary ones from the remaster are okay, but... Yeah. So, how far up this am I? Yeah, it's pretty mixed. Actually, a lot of fucking Protoss players. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder if that's because they DT rush. We shall see, we shall see. So,